Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna touch on several topics you guys have questions with regards to BoxyCharm. I'm gonna show you guys the exclusive little bag they sent over, the palette, the lippy, which is NARS, all that stuff, boxy pop-up information, some spoilers for boxy pop-up, guys. There is so much. Oh, I ended up getting my add-on order. So if you're interested in all things boxy, then this may be a video for you. Let me just kind of like finger comb through my hair back here. No one told me I had like a cockatoo thing going on over here. It's super shiny, I know. But also, there's extra shininess in certain areas because I have a few gray hair. But we're not even going to get into that right now. So this video was unplanned. And it is triggered by a series of things because I'm getting so many DMs over on Instagram with regards to Boxy Pop-Up, the dates, the spoilers. Also, I did put up an IGTV video where I showed you guys a little PR package that Boxy Trump sent my way. And you guys were so like intrigued and excited for the palette and the bag and all that good stuff so and you wanted to know more and instead of going one by one by one and giving the same answer which would be unfair technically the answer is gonna be the same so I didn't want to copy paste the same thing for every single one of you guys and then it's just so impersonal you know so I figured I'd just do a video and kind of like fill you guys in. So to um, start, what I featured in the IGTV video is this bag over here. It is so well made. I'm going to tell you that. Let me just take the stuff out from inside and then I'll show you what was inside initially, okay? So it is this bag over here. It does have the BoxyCharm like little, uh, I don't know, uh, what is it? The edge, uh, box edge, um, I don't know, the decor, okay? So that's their imprint and the hardware is really nice I love the black on silver so much I love black on silver and black on gold beautiful the zipper again very well made it just glides so seamlessly then you have on the hardware it says boxy charm don't mind my nails I've been picking at them I, I'm gonna fix them I promise but it says boxy charm on the hardware and the bag basically looks like this it's so well made i absolutely love it and then they sent over their boxycharm five piece brush set this was featured in a boxy lux or the premium box i think it was premium a few months ago, I think it was the very first premium or something like that. Because I already owned the brushes for that video, I did not use these. These are untouched and brand new. I actually automatically added them to my giveaway bin because, again, I already own them. I like the brushes a lot. And so I figured I would just kind of give this to somebody as part of a giveaway. I'm just trying to like bundle a whole bunch of stuff so that I can do a nice giveaway for you guys that's not just a BoxyCharm box. Also... The premium box giveaway winner will be announced in this video in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we ended up getting a five-piece brush set in there. And I put the lashes back in here, but uh, I also got Lily Lashes and BoxyCharm. So I think these are the ones that they did a collab with. Yeah, that came in the box. So, so these so far are the items that were inside of here. I was so impressed. And then you have the palette, which let me just presented to you guys it looked like this right so i was like okay it's it's a palette and then you have full-on details in the back it says hello charmer so i was like cute this is the hello charmer palette boxy charm cute has a slip cover very nice i love it when it has a slip cover because it just it just looks sleek and pretty right but then guys this is what I showed you guys on IGTV, and I know not everyone has Instagram, so I wanted to come on here and show you. They have hashtags that everyone uses for BoxyCharm related posts, right? And then they have the accounts of their BoxyCharm dedicated accounts, whether they're on Instagram and or Facebook. So here you see Boxy Charm Babe, Buy, Sell, or Trade, Boxy Babes. And then look, my friend Isabel, Boxy Preview is on here as well. I know Boxy Charm Swap is on here. It, you can see it a lot better in the back. And so I did get a few comments from you guys saying, well, why is your handle not in there? Like, I don't, I don't see it. It's not on here because my handles are not 
Boxy Charm dedicated. It's not Jotty G Boxy Charm unboxings. It's just Jotty G. I do a whole bunch of unboxings. My channel, although Boxy Charm is my hands down favorite, my channel is all about beauty unboxings. That's why you see unboxings of all sorts of beauty subscriptions um, and beauty tutorials and that kind of thing. So I'm not like strictly Boxy Charm. 110% dedicated, but I know Boxy Baddies is on here, Boxy Charm Beauties is in here, Boxy Charm Preview, Boxy Charm Sneak Peek. I think the packaging is perfection because this is like an homage to all the like diehard, strictly Boxy Charm supporters. Kind of like, guys, we're here because of you, and I absolutely love it. So we're gonna open her up, and it looks like a little Boxy Charm box. You know, you got a mirror, and then here is what the palette looks like on the inside for that video i ended up using this shade here and you guys loved it so i'm gonna swatch it for the look that i have on right now i did use this palette i used spoiler which is like a orangey yellow all over the crease to blow at blow that out as a transition shade and then on the crease itself i used a cup of joe i added on top of that unboxing and then I, with my finger, used Swipe Up. The shades are beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys a close up. I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like any camera is going to do it justice because in person, they look so much prettier. The Swipe Up shade, which is the glitter, already has like that type of solution to where you don't need to add a glitter glue or anything. I literally went onto the pan with my finger and I blended over my lid and that's that. I don't really see any glitter falling like into like the cheek area or anything like that, so that's great. I'm not saying that's not gonna happen throughout the day, but I'm just saying I've had this makeup on for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. I've been on Instagram, I've been chatting with you guys and still nothing, we're good. This shade full size, which is this one over here, can be very deceiving. It is a duochrome and so what happens with that is that depending on how the light hits it, it'll reflect a little differently. This is what the shade looks like. So again, depending on how the light hits it, you may get purple, you may get blue, you may get a little bit of a teal shade. That was just the one finger swipe, okay? And that's what she looks like. The pink shimmers, that also has a shift. It's pink glitters, but there's also green and gold in there, it's, it's, there's green gold and like silver, it's so pretty. So it looks pink on the pan, but again, depending on how the light hits it, it'll look different. So I, I didn't really dive into the pan so much, but that's the shade and it's a beautiful topper. You can use it on its own, but it's definitely a beautiful topper. That's actually what I have, like on the inner portions, like the, like what, two thirds of my lid, like all that, like all that shimmer, that's that. I'm going to dive into the shade Charmer, which is the teal, look how pretty she is. And then I'm also going to dive into Exclusive, which is a bronze shade, and that's what Exclusive looks like. And then I'm gonna dive into Lux, which is a yellow gold. And there we go. I mean, all the shades are really pretty, but these are the ones that I'm just like, I'm so happy they're in the palette. With regards to the formula, I think they're very buttery. They're very blendable. I did experience some fallout with that uh, duochrome shade, but other than that, it was very easy to work with with regards to when we're going to see it, um, whether it's on the BoxyCharm shop, BoxyCharm charm room, which I don't even know what's happening with that. I just feel like... We forgot about that, the charm room. Or pop-up, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we see it in pop-up. I'm not saying it's going to be in pop-up, but I wouldn't be surprised if we were to see some of these items over in pop-up. But we don't have a date as to when these are gonna launch. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know the pricing. I just know that we ended up getting it and we got to play around with them and provide feedback. And so far, I'm loving it. I know a whole bunch of you guys really wanna get your hands on this palette so if I see it on pop-up I'll definitely let you guys know but if you go on pop-up make sure you check and see whether or not it's in there I really don't know what the price point is going to be so I can't tell you and before I forget I want to announce the winner of my January boxy time premium box her name is Carolina Perez and she is from 
Texas. I am so excited, Carolina. I'm gonna be sending you an email very, very soon. If you are not a winner this time around, please do not get discouraged because I will be announcing another giveaway very, very soon and I think you guys are gonna be really excited for this one. In a video I did recently, you guys were asking with regards to the lippy that I had on and all that good stuff, so I wanted to show you it is the NARS American Woman. This is what I have on my lips right now. This is on the back of my hand and this is what it looks like on my lips, on my complexion. So being that NARS lippies are going to be featured in the March Lux box, I'm hoping that I get a different shade because even though I love this one, um, this one is still relatively new and I would love a different shade. That way, I don't know, I can like expand what I currently have. And then I wanted to show you guys my boxy add-on order. I ended up getting a backup of the M Greengrass uh, Beach Scented Oil Dry Oil Spray. And I got my Becca Foundation in the darker shade. You guys know I already own the foundation, which is what I have on my skin right now, as a matter of fact. And this one is an olive. Um, and it works perfectly for me, blends in wonderfully. And then um, I ended up getting this one in Bamboo. It's like two, maybe, yeah, like two shades darker. And the reason being is that I can, I like the formula so much that I can use Bamboo in the winter time. If you guys haven't seen my video for the March Premium Box spoiler, I'm gonna link it up here. I'm just saying Fenty is being featured. And if you haven't seen that video, I and, and you didn't see my like explosive excitement because I just didn't know how to contain myself, you guys should definitely go check that out. I did want to take a second to kind of talk to you guys about the March Premium Box because there were a handful of comments where some of you guys were concerned saying, wait, but Premium is supposed to have a minimum retail value of $175, but in this case, the retail value is so much lower. Like why? That doesn't make sense and BoxyCharm is not staying true to their promise. If you go on to the BoxyCharm website, it does state that the BoxyCharm premium boxes are to have a minimum retail value of $175 and then you'll see a little asterisk. And so when you go lower beneath, then you see where it says that there's a disclaimer letting you know that yes, the minimum retail value of each box is expected to be at least $175 unless there is a brand takeover, which in this case there is. So um, that is an explanation as to why you're not gonna see a full retail value of $175 for the March premium box. I'm not gonna lie to you though, I honestly am really excited and I don't care that it's gonna have a retail value lesser than $175 because we're getting six Fenty products. Like, some people say it's affordable and they can get it themselves, that's perfectly fine, but I'm gonna pay $35 for my premium box and I'm gonna get six Fenty products. I'm not even complaining. I do hope this information kind of sheds a little more light and uh, like it helps you guys understand why the retail value is going to be less for the month of March. Let's move on to pop-up. There were um, questions with regards to pop-ups such as shipping. Shipping is free once you meet $25 on your cart. If it's $24.99, you're not gonna get free shipping. You have to exceed $25 worth in your cart in order to get free shipping, and your pop-up order is going to ship separately from any of your boxes. BoxyCharm has posted several pictures on their Instagram account where you're able to see bundles of items that you should see featured in Boxy pop-up. So I'm gonna put them on screen as I'm talking to you guys so that you'll see. So there's a bundle of like skincare, a bundle of hair care, a bundle of um, cosmetics, tools. So that's really exciting. And apparently Joe says that there's going to be like hundreds of items. So I'm sure that there are additional items that will be featured in Boxy pop-up in the month of February that we haven't seen like any type of spoilers for quite yet. I want you guys to make sure you mark your calendars because Monday, February 10th is when Boxy Pop-Up is going to launch and that will be early access for Boxy Lux members and premium members. With that said, if you're on the wait list for either Boxy Lux and or premium, you also have early access. Then on Tuesday, the 11th of February is when Boxy Pop-Up is gonna open up completely 
completely to all charmers. I have no idea what time frame it is going to be. Joe in a previous video did mention that it could be 12 o'clock or one o'clock. He's not 100% sure quite yet. I don't know if they're gonna release a time frame in advance. It would be great if they did, but I don't know because sometimes BoxyCharm can be a tad bit unpredictable. If you're already subscribed to my channel and have notifications on, then you're good to go. But if you're not, consider subscribing to this channel. Consider clicking that notification bell and selecting all notifications because when BoxyCharm events happen, such as pop-up, which will be coming very, very soon, and or the add-on events, I make sure that I announce it to you guys here in my community page. I put up a quick text and I add links to make it easier for you guys to navigate over to the BoxyCharm website and not have to go through the whole process of typing it all in and all that good stuff. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I invite you to follow me over on Instagram. I also provide updates of events and that kind of stuff over there with swipe up links and everything because I try to make everything so much easier for you guys because y'all are my friends. And that is a wrap for this video. Make sure you comment down below your feedback on all things boxy. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please stay tuned to the end screens. I'm suggesting other videos I think you would truly enjoy. In the meantime, I'll see you guys over there. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.